Um, do you follow the politics? I do. I follow the politics. You do? I'm not surprised. Your dad is a journalist, and your mom was a 60 Minutes producer. Yeah, right? yeah, raised by two journalists. My grandparents were journalists. My aunts and uncles, my cousins are journalists. Wow, so you're like from a family of public intellectuals. That's right. Was yeah. it hard coming out to them and telling them you were going to be an actor? <laughs> Did you have to sit them down and say, Mom, Dad, I'm not Listen, deep? Listen, I'm not going to save the world with such integrity as you. I, you know, they were very cool from the beginning. What was hard was to lie to them, because investigative journalists are really hard to lie to. Uh-huh. And just where was this party, exactly. Olivia? Exactly. There was not. There was nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean... So was... if Barbara's parents are in town, how come there are right. no cars in her driveway? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There How about book no reports way. or anything like that? Was oh, it was man. like was they were like ah no this first paragraph is fat you're just clearing your throat here. <laughs> mm, this is accurate but it's not fair. We're not going to print this. They we're not going to print this. They were very cool. They were very like fiercely passionate about defending my creative instincts. They were completely supportive of the yeah, idea of yeah. being an actress. No they, worries at all. No, you know because it's a really tough like 95 percent of actors and actresses don't work. Ooh, I know. I think they knew that if it didn't work. I would stop after a while and, and try something else. Like, yeah. I, I was supposed to go to college. I was going to Bard College in upstate mm -hmm. New York. And sure. then I. That's super crunchy. <laughs> super oh, crunchy. Yeah, like, maybe you'll take classes, maybe you won't maybe kind not. of college, right? See how I feel. Really, isn't it? Like, you instead of, of make like, your own major yeah. kind of college? Orgies in the waterfall, that kind of thing. Really? Yeah. I went to the wrong college, yeah. man. <laughs> It was great, but I never actually went. I must have been the most popular roommate to sign up for every year because I never showed up. Because so you were always off like acting huge, or something? Yeah, because I kept deferring because I actually started working. Now, the, the show Vinyl is about a wild time in rock and roll back when there was enough money in music to be wild. Yeah. You know, these were young people with a lot of money living crazy lives. Yeah, although, you know, it's interesting in the whole kind of ethos behind the show is that the record labels were stealing from the artists. Which is why Mick Jagger, our producer, really wanted to tell this story. Because the labels were taking advantage of the artists and charging them for their own production of their albums. And he went to the London School of Economics. Yeah. So he knew he He's was no being ripped dummy. off. Yeah. Well, that's why he. No, honest to God, he did. Yeah. And he famously kind of took control of the Stones' finances, and they became a very tough band to rip off. Now, uh, there's a lot in this. I know we had a Bobby Cannavale on here the other night, the best. and he's amazing. And there's a lot of cocaine. So Being much cocaine. Co cocaine taken <laughs> in this. Now, does your character do cocaine? Mm mm. Yeah. No luck there. No. <laughs> no. There's well, it's not real two. cocaine. They're not doing real cocaine. No. I mean, it is HBO. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> they do excellent exactly. productions. Exactly. It's, um, it's, what is it? It's not baby laxative. It's milk powder, right? Really? Still, I would not want to snort milk powder. No, no. <laughs> what if your lungs it's turned everywhere. out to be lactose intolerant? Exactly. That's that could point. be dangerous. That could no, be bad. It's really funny. There's mountains of it everywhere. It's really, it's a hilarious set. Now, you're also directing too, right? I am. I just directed a music video in New Orleans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> best city, best city in this country. And uh, for Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, and it's for a song called No Love Like Yours. Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, they opened for Bernie Sanders That's right. a couple of nights ago. Are That's you right. feeling the burn? Listen, I love the burn. I love the burn. I have a lot of respect for the burn and for everything he's done for young voters. But? But I am with her. You're headed and for the hills. You're headed for the hills. Um, yeah, and uh -huh. you know, I have my personal reasons, but I, I support the discourse. I think these debates are fantastic. I love how many people are engaged. It's great. Uh, you also executive produced a short film. Yes. Uh, that has been nominated for an Oscar. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. And now it's a it's an incredible story. Yes. Of it's it's a team of people working in Liberia, right? Yes, what are Monrovia. they doing? They are. It's called Body Team Twelve, and they uh, during the Ebola epidemic were responsible for collecting the bodies of those who had died from the virus, and that was of course essential because the only reason it didn't spread in a much bigger way was because of people like them, who were containing the virus, which was spread by contact with the dead. So, it's an incredible story of These heroism. These are people who went into what you might call the hot zone, where yes. the disease was spreading. Yes. And they were, lo they were local members of that community, so they were community health workers. Well, who's shooting this? Who, who are the so, cameramen on something like David this? David Darg, our director, is an extraordinary guy, and he was working as an aid worker there, and then is also a filmmaker, so started filming from within. So the access is just kind of incredible, because you would never be able to see that just as a filmmaker. So is, is he an American? He's an American. So he went over there and did this. Was he 
Was he quarant it was one of those people quarantined yeah. when he came back? <laughs> he was quarantined for 45 days. And I'm only laughing because clearly it's the way to get the best movie out of your directors to quarantine them for 45 <laughs> days. Wait, did like, he edit while he was yes, in quarantine? Yes, he edited the film in quarantine. You almost, you almost literally chained him to the editing You know machine. what? <laughs> He's nominated for an Oscar. That's so an executive saying. producer. That's what you're supposed <laughs> to be doing. Exactly.